Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are finally doing the Q&A. I asked you guys to send me in questions. So I have quite a few to answer and then some that I did not take pictures of, but let's go ahead and get into this. Also, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end of this video. Trust me on that. So the first question is, what is my favorite makeup brand of all time? If you guys watch me on TikTok, there is a brand that I use quite often, and now they have a whole dedicated drawer in my makeup collection. And that brand is Glam Light. Like I have both the Icy palettes back here, the Michaela Part 2, Part 1. This is the Part 2 Mini palette, Hershey Kisses palette, Frosted Flakes, Scooby Doo collection. There's Michaela Lashes back here, the Chucky palette, the Chucky blush, and the Barbie lip set. And for this look I'm wearing right now, it is up on my TikTok if you want to see the full tutorial, but I am wearing the Michaela Part 2, the bigger palette, and then I'm wearing the Chucky blush. Next question is, what is the last movie I've seen and what do I think about it? The last movie I actually went to the movie theater and seen was Megan, and it was good, don't get me wrong, but I also feel like they could have done a little more with it because there is so many like creepy doll movies and shit, but it was still good. And I am interested in seeing the part two whenever that is supposed to come out. If you guys know when that's supposed to come out, let me know. I am like very behind on movies. And then if you're talking about like streaming movies, Missing on Netflix, that movie is absolutely amazing. I feel like it's super underrated. I haven't really heard anyone talk about it but it is a really good movie. I would definitely look at the description and everything on that. Highly, highly recommend. Next question is ranking all the Black Veil Brides albums. I have done this several times on my TikTok and honestly, I have moved away from Black Veil Brides content. And I will go ahead and explain why before I rank these albums again. Um, my ranking always changes on these, so if you see this and you've seen my other ranking videos, it's probably a little bit different because every time I listen to the albums, I feel like my favorites change. Um, but as far as moving away from that kind of content, one, the community can be very toxic. I'm not saying everyone in the community is toxic, but there are some individuals that make it not a fun experience. Let's just put it that way. Um, like you'll see people with Andy as their profile picture and then they just spew a bunch of hate. Like they have just some kind of generic name like Andy's lover, whatever the fuck, you know? And it's like, okay. I'm sure that the band would not support you spewing this hate, especially when it comes to people sharing their opinions or like their favorite songs or whatever it's just it got to be too much for me for one and for two it's just I want to branch out more like I've done a shit ton of Black for Brides content I do mean a shit ton also if you guys have seen I am selling quite a bit of my Black for Brides collection over on my Depop I will have that link down in the description. Also, all my social media will be down in the description. You will need that for later. But let's go ahead and rank all these albums. We already know We Stitch These Wounds is my absolute favorite. That will not change ever. I would say my second is Set the World on Fire. Third is The Phantom's Morrow. Fourth is Wretched and Divine. Fifth is the self-titled album or BBB4, whatever you want to call it. Let's see, six. Oof. I'm going to go ahead and say Veil. And then lastly, that puts Restitch These Wounds at the bottom, just because I feel like it wasn't necessary. And the original is still better, in my opinion. Okay, what is my best advice for a healthy relationship? Many of you guys know if you followed me for a while, I just got out of a five and a half year relationship that was very, very dead. 
Um, so honestly, my best advice for you is communication for one. And for two, never stop dating your partner. It doesn't even have to be an actual like date that you have to go and spend money on. You can literally make some popcorn or whatever your favorite snacks are and throw on a movie and just be with your partner and spend time with them. That is the big, big thing right there. When you find yourself in this rut where you're not doing anything together anymore, all you're doing is working, coming home and going to sleep, that is an issue. One of you is going to get tired of it. I can tell you that right now. One of you will get tired of that situation and end up leaving. So just continue spending that time with your partner. It is so important. It's a good bonding experience for you both. And again, it doesn't have to require money. If you have DVDs, you know, go through your DVD collection, throw on one. Netflix is, you know, a very popular streaming service. There's even Tubi. It is completely free. Yes, it has ads, but that gives you time to go in the bathroom or get more snacks or whatever. So there is options where you don't have to spend money. Just be with your partner, spend that time together. And if there is some kind of issue, don't just let it brew. Talk about it. That is so, so important to talk about your problems with your partner. Don't go behind their back and tell your best friend like, yeah, me and so-and-so are having issues. This is what's happening. No, that's not going to resolve anything. Your partner needs to know what the problem is so they can work on it. If it is them or if it's you and you're noticing that you're acting weird and, you know, maybe you're working too much and you feel like you don't have enough time for your partner, tell them and try to come together for a solution on that. It is so important to communicate and never stop dating your partner. Here's a fun question. Why did my TikTok get banned? Few things to unpack here. One, my main account did get banned. I did appeal it. It is back. It is right down below. Again, in that description box is going to be on my social media. You're going to need that for later. So keep that in mind. Also, um, my first backup account got banned. So that one I did not get back. I do have a backup again, but it is under a different name now because I had to restart on that. So with my main account getting banned, that would be because of all my spicy content. And I was trying to drive people over to my Instagram. So I'd be like, hey, go follow me on Instagram, wink, wink. And TikTok did not like that. Even though I did not specify why I wanted you to go over there, they just did not like that. And then with my backup account, it was just bullshit. Like, I literally did not do anything. I tried to appeal it and they refused because apparently there was nudity. That was also a big thing on my main account was nudity. Even though I have seen full-on nudity on TikTok before and I was fully clothed, they just... Uh, don't like me, I guess. I really don't know what to tell you on that one. But yeah, my main account is back. It will be right down below. Now for the reason that I want you guys to stay to the end of the video, I have teased a makeup giveaway for a while. Hence why I'm wearing all the butterflies. But there's a few things that you need to know. One, it is going to be US shipping only, no international. Two, you need to be subscribed here to me on YouTube. Leave me the code word butterfly in the comments. Also follow my Instagram and my TikTok. Links are in the description box. Also on Instagram, go ahead and send me a message with the code word butterfly so I know that you entered because I might not see it here. I'm not sure because sometimes these notifications act a little weird, 
but this is the makeup bag, hence why I want you to use the code word butterfly. I am going to go through everything in here. There is a bunch of my favorites. As you can see right on top, some of my favorites. So I'm going to remove all this and show you one by one what's in here. So first off is this blue butterfly makeup bag. I actually have the same bag in my car for my car makeup. Speaking of, I actually have a few of those products right here that are also in my car makeup bag. So this is the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestrum, Maestrum in the shade 400. This is a little travel size. It's like a cream red lipstick. I love this. It is very, very tiny. But if you see my car makeup bag video, you know that is in here. This is what it looks like. I love this. And I got another sample from Sephora. So I figured you guys would like to try it as well. Then we also have the Laura Mercier setting powder and translucent. I love this stuff. I even have a full size. This full size is my second one. This is the newer packaging. This is the older packaging. That's the only difference here. And then I do have a mini in my car makeup bag. And I have went through like two or three of these little sizes as well. And then it is also always a good thing to have hand sanitizer. So this is from Bath and Body Works. It's the Black Cherry Merlot. This smells amazing. Speaking of smelling amazing, this is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This stuff is so, 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 so good. I have used quite a few of these little guys and then I still have my big jar here. Look at how cute and tiny it is. But this is a great way for you guys to try this if you have not already. Then we know I love Give, you, Give Beauty and I am also an ambassador for them. This is the Anim Shine High Performance Sun Lipstick and Original Recipe. I love Original Recipe. It is my favorite red shade. So of course you have a little mini right here. Then we have the one of one Give Em Lip and Cheek. This is a tinted balm and it's the vibrant coral shade and saucy. You guys see me haul one of these actually in my Dollar Tree haul. I have this shade and I have a berry shade. I went back and got this one for you guys because I loved it so much. I also have this Tom Ford Bitter Peach Perfume Sample. I did take it out of the card that it came in. I tried it once. It's not for me, but one of you might really enjoy it. Then we have quite a bit of Glam White stuff. So when you did the pre-order for the Chucky collection, there was some shipping delays. So they sent a bunch of free samples to make up for it. So these are the burger lashes. I have no idea what they look like because it is still sealed. And then these are the Michaela High Fashion lashes. Uh, this from the part two collection. Don't know if you can really see what it looks like because this is also still sealed. Then we have the Hot Chocolate Lips lip gloss. And then we have the Scooby-Doo Batscara. This is very, very cute. I've seen pictures of it. Just, I have too many mascaras at the moment. I don't need another one. And then I have these Hello Kitty and ColourPop stickers, which I thought would be really cute to throw in here. And then I do have a couple like foil sample type things. This is the Goop Glow Glow Lotion. And this is actually a pretty decent sample. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream sample. This stuff is really good. I had like a little mini jar of it and I used it completely up. Even if you're oily like me, you will tend to get those dry spots. Mine are usually like right through here. That stuff, overnight, gone. So many goodies in this bag right here. Again, if you want to enter this giveaway, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Leave the code word butterfly down in the comments. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And on Instagram, go ahead and message me the code word butterfly. Again, this is only US, please. I am not doing international shipping with this giveaway. I am so sorry. Maybe down the road I will. But for right now, it is just US only. 
and I am so excited to finally get this guy out to you because it has been sitting here and I've just been collecting random products to throw in here but I am so so happy to finally get this started. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to close the giveaway because your girl over here is going to be working the next 13 days straight. So bear with me on that but whenever I do close the giveaway I will directly message you on Instagram. Make sure it is actually me that messages you because I've had so many scam accounts try to message people when I do giveaways. Just make sure it's me. Visit the profile. Check it out real quick. Make sure it's me. But thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait for you guys to start entering this giveaway.